share some of Usborne's books for our younger learners. It's never too early to start that love of reading. This is our Hello Baby series, a cloth book that covers colors and animals, very chewable with a fun teething ring here so that little kiddos can munch on it. This is Under the Sea, and it's a wonderful tummy time book. It folds out. You can set it up or lay it down. It has great high contrast as kids' eyes are developing. And the other side is much more colorful, a lot more detailed as kids' vision develops. Wonderful use for tummy time. There's a, um, a counting one and there's a farm one. This is our Slide and See series. How these work is there's little finger holes on each page, and when you move it, the picture and the colors change, and so it's great to keep babies interested. There's finger trails. This is a pre-literacy skill, teaching kids to read across the page. Really fun, there's lots of these. There's animals, there's zoo. This is the That's Not My series. That's Not My Fox. It's the story of this little animal mouse as he's looking for what belongs to him. And each page has great textures and adjectives. That's not my fox. His nose is too rough. And so there's great texture and learning happening. At the end, he finds which one's his. There's dinosaur, mermaid, princess, monster, all kinds of fun ones. This is our Muddle and Match series. Wonderful, thick, cardboard pages. And it's all about you creating the story. So it's help, it helps develop that creativity. On this side, there's words. On this side, there's pictures. And so you mix them up and tell the story your way. There's jobs, monsters, imagine, adventure. The very first book of Things to Spot is a, fo a very popular one in our house. It's all about learning to see things throughout the pages. It's great though because it has questions. Find the penguin wearing the hat. Can you spot the baby penguins? Who's fast asleep? I love this because it helps parents and friends and family members engage with their kids as they're reading. My daughter will sit and read that book for like 30 minutes and she's two. This is our noisy book. This is noisy orchestra. Little buttons over here on this side. Our noisy books have these great tabs at the top. You can flip through the pages. This is all about different instruments. There's woodwinds, there's percussion, there's brass. At the end, they gather all together to play a beautiful orchestra concert, so it's super fun and noisy. This is our busy book. This is Busy Bug, and I love it, our Busy Bug series. And there's, there's helicopters, there's cars, there's Santa, and how they work is you have a fun page, and it comes with a pullback toy. So here's our little bug, and you just pull it back, or there's some that have wind-up ones, and it'll ride around the page as you're reading the story. And so it helps kids be drawn into the story and move through the pages. There's textures, all fun kinds of things in our busy book series. All Better is one of my all-time favorite Esbern books. It's the story of these five little animals as they get little ouchies. And what do you do for a, a boo-boo? You clean it, you kiss it, and then you put a band-aid on it. So it has repositionable band-aids, which are fantastic. Kids love this book. Great one to have if you have an injury or if you're going to the doctor, a really good one. I'm a Hungry Dinosaur is one of our new books this year. It's the greatest story of this little dinosaur as he's baking a cake. And I love this book because the illustrations are made with real sprinkles, cocoa, and frosting. Another really cool thing is this book can be sung to row, row, row your boat. And as you know, rhythm helps kids learn to read faster. So it's a great idea to help them with that pattern and that sound of words. Another storybook is Who's Next? We love this book. It's all about sequencing. On every page, a character leaves, and then another little character animal arrives. And so you have to remember who was it and use your prediction skills to see who's coming next. So it's great for younger kiddos. It's just a fun story. And in the back, there's who did you see? And so we use this page to talk about colors, animals, and sounds. So it can be used in a lot of different ways. That's who's next. Next is the human body, one of our shine light books. Oh, this series is so fun. How it works. This one's all about the human body, but different things happen on each page. And when you shine a light, a flashlight, or a cell phone behind it, things mysteriously appear. And so it's bones, what makes your muscles, what makes your fingers, you have fingerprints, your lungs. So great hidden pictures reveal a wonderful way to spend quality time together. Another storybook I love is A Tale of Two Beasts. And it's the story of this little girl, part one. And she thinks she rescues this little beast animal from the woods. And she takes him home and gives him a, a house. But then when you flip to part, part two, this is story two, this is from the little beast perspective. And he thinks he's been kidnapped. And so the whole point of the story is to see things from other people's perspective. A super important lesson for our kids. This is our phonics readers. This is Raccoon on the Moon. These come in paperback, they come in collections. They're wonderful. And what they do is they use rhyming and repetition of words to teach kids how to read. I love this series because it has a helpful 
little thing back here for family members. It teaches you how to use these books and how to help your kids um, get a leg up on reading. So they're fun, they're colorful, and they're very helpful for us. So those are great for younger readers. Just comment below if you have a question or if you want to learn more.